Hey guys, it's me, Obi-Wan here, back with the Whiskey Pours. Where you know what we do here? We pour whiskey one pour at a time. All right. I might be a little bit under influence tonight because I had a little bit of few pours. But look what we have here tonight. Batch one, batch two. And uh, I already had batch one, as you can see, it's a little bit gone. It's uh, the Prideful Goat. Good stuff, very, very good stuff from what I had from here. But I'm, I'm gonna move this out the way. It's already had it. So here we go with batch two. Batch two, guys. Get this shit. So released here in Houston, Texas. I think it was released somewhere else like in Dallas, San Antonio, somewhere out in the fuck out there. But you know what? Fuck them shit, cities, whatever. You know, I would give a fuck about the age town. You know? Houston, baby. So, let's fucking open batch two up. The prideful goat. You can see. And it is 56.9% alcohol. 113.8 proof, which I believe is less than the other one. Yes, this one is 115. Batch one was 115. 55, 57.5% alcohol. So this one's a little bit less. All right, so I heard some people say that batch one is better, but I also heard batch two might be better. So we're, gonna, we're about to find that out. Cause I had a, I had a few of the Prideful Gold earlier on today, and it's it's fucking good juice. It's fucking really really fucking good. You know, I rate that bitch like, I think I said four point five before. It's whiskey pours approved. We pour it here one pour at a fucking time, and you know what? We don't judge here. It's like I give you my fucking rating. And other places might like give you their fucking ring. You know what? It, it's all fucking good. It doesn't fucking matter. As long as you try it and you give your fucking opinion. You know, your opinion matters sometimes. Some people might drink it because of your fucking opinion. Or they might not, you know? Who gives a fuck? But you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm here to fucking pour this shit. And we're going to fucking pour it down right now, you know? Let's see if you fucking... Go by what, but blah blah. Go for what I'm, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So let's fucking open this bad baby up. And like I said, it's here in Houston. Pour that shit to the side. God damn, motherfucker! Shut up, bitch. Hold up. Technical difficulties right now. All right, here we go. And. Hear this motherfucker, all right? You ready for this shit? Wait for it. Ooh, you heard that shit? Pop, bitch. Pop that cherry, baby. Fucking pop it. All right, here we go. Batch two, prideful goat. Greatest of all time, baby. And let's fucking do the damn thing, all right? And you saw I got this little thing. My little glass. So here we go. You hear that? Lick, 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 lick. Oh, hell. You gotta have fucking one good little pour. Ooh. Damn, that was fucking good. Saw so that shit. Good fucking pour. All right. Let's close this bad baby up. Close it up. And let's see what it's all about. All right, guys. Here we go. Whiskey pours. We're about to try the Prideful Goat. Batch two, limited edition. There's a few bottles out here in Houston, Texas. There are some out there somewhere else. And you know what? Let's fucking try this. All right, like I said, I'm, I'm still a fucking beginner in the fucking game. Fucking spicy up in this bitch. Similar to batch one.
kind of like citrus citrus notes, not flavor, citrus notes. But it's fucking good. I mean, it fucking smells good. Like I said, I'm, I'm still trying to get the grasp of all this fucking notes, the palate. But it fucking smells good. That's all I gotta say. It fucking smells good. It's fucking good to the fucking nose. You know, it's fucking good. So let's fucking see what it's all about, all right? And like I said, you can take my opinion or not. It's all fucking good, you know? I'm gonna tell you if this fucking shit tastes good or not. I mean, I'm not calling this shit because I haven't tasted it yet. But all I'm saying is like, I'm gonna give you my fucking opinion. You can take it like you want it. You like it or you dislike it. And you know what? It's all good. I'm going to fucking enjoy my fucking pour. All right? So don't forget to subscribe to Whiskey Pours. Hit that fucking notification bell. Because that lets me know when I'm going to fucking post new videos. So let's fucking do the damn thing. A little fucking uh, a little punch to it but it's fucking smooth it's very smooth it still lingers right there in the throat it's still there but it is it's fucking smooth it's it's a good fucking pour it is fucking good the prideful goat it's a good fucking pour all right, so this bottle was a little bit more than batch one. And you know what? Fuck the price, you know what I'm saying? Right now it's like, it's all about the fucking pour. So let's see, let, let me give it another try. I don't know, I see like the citrusy smell, fucking vanilla, cherry, I still, I fucking, I smell that shit. All right. Like I said, I'm a fucking beginner, but I'm, I'm going to give you the honest truth right now. Try one more time. Slight heat. The finish, slight. It lingers for a bit. Vanilla. Cinnamon for me, like I said, I'm new to the game, so My palate might be different than yours, and you know what? Fuck it, you know, fucking enjoy your fucking pour It's fucking good So here we go, fucking rating Is batch one or batch two better? To me, they were fucking similar In, in some way, they were similar I'm gonna have to do a side by side comparison, but right now it's like I can't decide which one's better. They are both fucking amazing pours. They're fucking amazing. So here we go. Whiskey pours rating. I'm gonna have to take one more pour, guys. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking good. Still, I fucking tilt. I can taste that fucking vanilla, guys. And it's fucking good. So, whiskey pours rating. I'm gonna give it a fucking four point five two. Whiskey pours approved, guys. Four point five. All right. It's not that strong. So if you're not a pussy, you can handle this. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Like I said, I don't judge. This was like, what I tell you? 113.8 proof. And it's very good. I do recommend this if you can find it. I know it's been sold out somehow. This bottle's right here, right in front of me. Cause you know what? I love whiskey, I love bourbon. I'm like fucking loving getting to know this game, the industry. One day I'm going to fucking know what all this cast drink, small batch, single barrel, 
Barrel Proof, all that lingo. And we're gonna fucking learn that shit together, all right? That's what we do here at Whiskey Pours. We fucking learn together one fucking pour at a time, all right? That's how we do this. So I'm gonna rate this a 4.5 Whiskey Pours approved. And like I said, if you can find it, which I doubt that you can find it because there's a limited amount of bottles done. But if you fucking find it or see it or fucking have a friend that might have it, let them fucking give you a pour. It is fucking good. It's fucking good juice. It's a fucking good pour. That's all I'm trying to tell you guys. So take my advice or not. Fucking the goat is fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. All right. So cheers one more time, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I do have a current Eagle Rare giveaway. But you got to comment on that video, all right, guys? So cheers. And I hope you continue to like, like, dislike my videos, comment, no comments. I fucking love y'all guys, alright? Cheers.